Hello, YouTuber boobers. So I've been uh, looking at this uh, documentation, which, you know, they don't give you a lot of documentation. But, uh, you know, basically they give you what they want you to see. So this is financed amount 54288 And uh, the act, when I backward, um, the loan backwards, I determined that the actual cost of the system is about 40000 It's probably this amount over here that's $38,002 amount. It's probably what the real cost of it is. And uh, they write it up in such a way that you, they, they could have written it up as the actual cost of the system so that you have an option to and you do have an option to actually provide your own financing. What bothers me about it is that this is a 20 year loan and uh, so I'd be basically making a payment for the next 20 years assuming that I'm on this planet for 20 years but it could actually be tied to the house so even if I can no longer make the payments, you know, my daughter, who's a co-owner of the house, will probably have to continue the payments. The incentive from the federal government, it only lasts, I think, uh, a certain number of years. I think it might be, I don't know, it, it's still more than 10 years. But the incentive from the government is based on how much electricity gets sold back to the grid. So this uh, SREC thing is kind of like Bitcoin. It's, it's a fictitious calculation in which industry is giving credit to people that are putting power back on the grid. But it's not available to everybody. If I build my own system I would probably have to jump through a lot of hoops to get credit for it, to get that credit. I think it's kind of like something's been set up through the installers. I'm not totally sure about that because it's kind of a mystery thing. It's, set, it's, it's referred to as a federal credit, but, you know, it's a, it's a gray area there around it. It's really based on selling power back to the grid. So the system, whether I actually need to have a 17 kilowatt system or not, may not be necessarily uh, true. So this has me projected, you know, have me saving more money towards the end, but. So I got a tax credit of $1,000, probably a one-time thing. And, uh, you know, they use, if you go down into the little nitty-gritty stuff, which you probably can't read, you know, it talks about things like uh, estimated. There's no estimate on the actual payment. I'm definitely going to be making a payment of 261 a month. And if I have no son, like this, so this last month has been kind of a really dark month. Of course it is. It's January. We got snow. Last night we got about 10 inches of snow. That would be up on the panels if I had panels. I would have to wait till the Nature took its course to clear the snow off the roof. So, what's interesting about this is that it has a phase one and phase two, which I don't really understand. But it has this prepayment amount of 16000 Now, the prepayment amount can be paid back after phase one. So, my guess is that phase one pays for... Um, pays for their profit of installing the system. 
phase two is paying for the hardware and phase one is paying the incentives. Imagine that there's a parent company that's actually doing all the quoting and advertising and you know calling me up every day even though I use the edge of the phone. You know, those people are all going to get paid a chunk of money. And then phase two is actually the hardware. Didn't really crank out the numbers to that extent, but now that's what kind of makes sense why this broken down. It doesn't really say in the notes about why it's broken up into phase one and phase two. I'm supposed to talk to the guy on Friday and maybe I'll get some um, someone to shed some light on it. But um, it's a 20 year term, so you know, I can prepay it. For sixteen thousand, you know, it could be a no-brainer, and it could be an issue. Now, I bet people up the street also have solar on their house, and they actually have um, a better pitch of their roof. Not ideal, not the forty-three degree, but it's a uh, it's a better angle. But they said that they only really get power generation during the summer and during the winter time they have to pay the electric bill as normal so if that's true then that means they also would have to pay the two I would have to pay the 261 plus my electric bill now when I asked that question to the guy earlier in the week he said that you know, you, you'll generate more power than you need. You'll get a credit. That credit will, you know, feed back into the system over time. Blah, 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 blah. Well, you know. It's all kind of a, an interesting question. In all reality is is that uh, I can't afford to do solar at the moment. And so if I really want to do solar, this would be the way to do it. But my dream is to have a solar tracker. And anybody that's listened to me ramble on for the last few years. And that was kind of why I put so much infrastructure into my battery bank and such. Now the thing with my battery bank now is that the way I have it set up is that the code is that you have to have a switch outside so that you can cut off. So I would have to change things out there and put the inverter in the power in the battery bank shed um, so that it could be turned off outside to the inside, which isn't a really huge deal. Except for that extremely heavy uh, transformer out there that's in the wall, in the closet, on the wall. And uh, that would have to get moved outside too. But, uh, you know, if I could find somebody to do it. Who could do it, I suppose. So... Because I'd like to eventually go with a PIP inverter. <coughs> Excuse me. So we will have to see on that guy. I don't know where I'm going with this. He says I have to have a decision for him by tomorrow. But to tell you the truth, it says I have a lot longer on that. On the Somewhere on here it says I have into March. I have a month. At the numbers they provide. Oh yeah, there's a line down here, number five. These government and other incentives are based on current information in your justification and are not guaranteed. The not guaranteed part should be in capital letters as big as some of these other lines. But they don't really want you to uh, to do that. 
Matter of fact, right here it says the monthly payment is 261 and the estimated SREC is 260. So right there, there's a discrepancy of $50. And then any kind of power usage that I have that doesn't get covered by the panels would then be covered in there. So this is part two of a solar proposal. But that's basically what I've researched while I was being pounded with snow yesterday. <laughs> Ta-ta!